Hello friends, welcome in YouTube channel. Myself, Samin Seth, working as assistant professor in KV Naik College, Nasik. Today, we all start the investigation of molecular culture. Means, to determine the bond name, bond order, hybridization, nature of the bond, why investigation of molecular structure are necessary because through investigation of molecular structure it is assigned the physical and chemical property of the compound if we know that physical and chemical property of the compound then we have decided the such a compound is toxic or non-toxic we have decided the the reactivity of the such a compound in chemical reaction. We have also decided the such a types of compound are used in which types of field that is medicinal field, chemical field or pharmaceutical field. Therefore, lot of concepts are clear by investigation of the molecule, molecular structure. The physical and chemical property are depends on the structure of the compound or we know that the structure of the compound is really assigned the physical and chemical property. They can be done by two methods. One is chemical method and other is physical method. But in chemical method, a lot of chemical tests are required for determination of the structure of compound. A more number of chemicals or more quantity there is also required and more time is required for the analysis. Therefore, physical method is more superior than chemical method because physical method can be done by observation by requiring less amount of compound and time is also less for the analysis. Friends, first we will discuss the, some basic concept that is the first concept is refractive index. When any light is coming from rare medium to denser medium, then it is refracted towards normal. The ratio of sign of the angle of incident to that of refraction is a constant and it is called as Snell's law. And such a ratio is nothing but the refractive index. Therefore, refractive index divided by eta that is equal to sin i upon sin r. It is a characteristic property of the liquid, not the solid and gaseous. The refractive index varies with respect to temperature as well as your length. Therefore, refractive index is not a more useful concept for the study of the structure. The next concept that is called Pacific Refraction. The Pacific Refraction denoted by Rs. That is equal to eta square minus 1 upon eta square plus 2 into 1 upon D. D means density. And eta means refractive index of the compound. It is independent of the temperature. Therefore, it is a more useful as compared to refractive index for the study of the structure of the molecules. It is same for liquid as well as gaseous phase. Now, the next concept that requires molar refraction. The molar refraction is denoted by Rm. That is equal to in eta square minus 1 upon eta square plus 2 into m upon d. m is a molecular weight and d is a density. We know that the molecular weight upon density that is nothing but the molar volume. The molar volume means the volume of one mole of compound. The unit of the molar volume is ml per mole. Therefore, unit of the molar refraction is ml per mole. The molar refraction is an additive and constitutive property. Therefore, every constituent atom of the molecule has contribution to the molar refraction. This contribution may be called as Atomic refraction equivalent. In this table, the atomic refraction equivalent for hydrogen is 1.1. For carbon, 
such a reaction is 2.4 for CL atomic reaction equivalent is 5.9 for bromine it is 8.865 for iodine that it is 13.9 the oxygen are present in the different types of form oxygen may be present in the carbonyl form oxygen present in the ether form oxygen present in the hydroxy form therefore for oxygen present in the carbonyl form such a refraction equal to 2.2 in case of ether that is equal 1.6 and in case of hydroxy group it is equal to 1.5 this is the value of the different types of element to use molar refraction i think contribute to the total molar refraction of the molecules friends how to determine the molar refraction of the two with a non in this compound there are four number of carbon and eight number of hydrogen and one oxygen is present therefore molar refraction equal to four times of atomic refraction of the carbon that is 2.4 plus 8 times of atomic refraction equivalent of the hydrogen that is 1.1 and plus molar refraction sorry atomic refraction equivalent of the oxygen it is in the carbonyl form therefore this is equal to 2.2 therefore all sum use 20.683 ml per mole friends if molecular formula is more then it is easily say that the molar refraction of such a compound are more than the less one. Molar refraction is increased by successively in, in each member of homologous series. Friends, we know that homologous series. Homologous series means this is an every member is deferred by CS2 group to the next member. Therefore, this is a homologous series of the alcohol starting from the methanol then ethanol ethanol is different than methanol by cs2 group similarly propyl alcohol is different than ethyl alcohol by cs2 group butyl alcohol is different than propyl alcohol by cs2 group therefore different between the more refraction of each member that it gives same value that is 4.6 therefore more refraction of the cs2 group is 4.6 the mole refraction is same for liquid as well as gaseous phase. Friends, the mole refraction is more than calculated in case of conjugated system like naphthalene, anthracene, and manion. Therefore, such an anomalous increase in mole refraction due to presence of the conjugated double bond is called as optical exaltation. The Molar refraction for ethyl alcohol and methyl alcohol are 12.3 and 8.3 respectively. Then, how to calculate the molar refraction for butyl alcohol? First, focus on the structure of the ethyl alcohol and methyl alcohol. Their difference is only CS2 groups. Therefore, molar refraction of ethyl alcohol minus molar refraction of the methyl alcohol to use the atomic refraction of the CS2 groups that is equal to 4.6. We know that the structure of the butyl alcohol the containing 4 carbon and ethyl alcohol containing 2 carbon. So, for difference between the structure of the butyl alcohol and ethyl alcohol, that is a 2 CS2 group. Therefore, more refraction of the butyl alcohol is equal to more refraction of the ethyl alcohol plus 2 times of CS2 groups. And we know that we know that the value of the CS2 groups as well as ethyl alcohol in terms of molar refraction. They were putting the value of molar refraction in this equation. Therefore, that it gives 12.9. That is the molar refraction of ethyl alcohol plus 2 into 4 times 2 into uh, 4.6. 4.6 is the molar refraction of the CS2 groups. Therefore, this equals 22.1 ml per mole. That is the molar refraction of the butyl alcohol. Now, molar refraction is same for liquid as well as gaseous phase. But, how to determine the molar refraction of the solid compound? Generally, the solid compound are dissolved in the suitable solvent to make the solution. Then, determine the density and refractive index of the solvent as well as solution. And, 
more reflection of the solution is given by the following expression that is more reflection of the solution denoted by r12 equal to in it n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 into n1 m1 plus n2 m2 upon d n1 and n2 are the more fraction of the solvent and solute respectively m1 and m2 are the molecular weight of the solvent and solute respectively therefore for solvent by using suffix 1 and for solute that is a solid compound by using suffix 2 therefore n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 multiplied by each term that it gives n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 into n1 m1 upon d plus n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 into n2 m2 upon d now if n1 is out of the bracket therefore this will become n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 into m1 upon d that is nothing but the more reflection of the solvent i think denoted by r1 therefore first term becomes n1 r1 plus similarly n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 into m2 upon d that is a more reflection of the solute that is denoted by r2 therefore this term becomes n2 into r2 we know that the value of the r12 that is more reflection of the solution as well more reflection of the solvent also we know that the mole fraction n1 and n2 therefore is it determine the molar reflection of this solute that is solid compound equal to r12 minus n1 r1 upon n2 now friends what is a actually polar and non-polar molecule uh, which types of situation of the electrons and nucleus are observed in the polar and non-polar molecule we know that the molecule are composed of positive charge nuclei and negative charge electron distributed in phase and electron surrounding around the nucleus friends in the bond the nuclei and electron having gravity therefore the center of gravity of nuclei and electron are exactly coincident then such a molecule are called as non-polar molecules consider the red ball red color is a center and small ball considers a electron and blue ball considers a nucleus therefore the center of gravity of nucleus as well as electron is exactly same that is coincident then such a molecule is called as non-polar molecules in case of x2 or the bond between the similar atoms such a bond is called as non-polar bond and molecule is also non-polar friends therefore it is easily concluded that in mo molecule in which center of gravity of positive nuclei are exactly coincident with then that of the electron then such a molecule are belong to non-polar molecules now what situation is observed in case of polar molecule if polar molecule the positive charge nuclei and negative charge electron are move but center of gravity of their are different means not a coincident then such a molecule belongs to polar groups polar family therefore if molecule in which center of gravity of positive nuclei are not coincident with then that of the electron then such a molecule are called as polar molecules now friends in polar molecule there are two types of polis observed one positive charge nuclei that is center of gravity close to the one atoms and center of gravity of the negative charge nuclei close to the other, other atoms they produce two types of pole the charge on such a pole is denoted by either plus q or minus q the magnitude of the charge is same therefore this is considered as a only q the distance between these two poles is considered as a length denoted by l the product of charge to that of length that is nothing but the dipole 
moment and the upper moment is denoted by u the upper polar molecule having dipole moment but for non polar molecule the dipole moment equal to zero the order of char is 10 to minus 10 electrostatic unit and order of the length between the two types of charges is in order 10 to minus 8 centimeter therefore the order of the dipole moment is equal to 10 to minus 18 asu centimeter that we consider one db the unit of the dipole moment is either asu centimeter or db and one db equal to 10 to minus 18 electrostatic unit centimeter now friends when non polar molecule are placed into the electrical field then which types of situation is observed we know that when electrical field is applied then there are uh, there are two types of pole one is plus another is minus the plus the electrode acts as a anode and minus electrode acts as a cathode therefore when such a molecule pays in the electrical field then positive charge nuclei get attracted toward the negative plate and negative charge nuclei get attracted toward the positive plate hence at that time center of gravity of the positive charge and center of gravity of the negative charge are not coincident hence such a molecule becomes polar character and such a character is temporary after removal of the electrical Field, then molecule come to their original position then polarization is this appear this types of position is called as induced polarization and induced position is denoted by u i therefore induced position is directly proportional to the strength of the upper electrical field the upper electrical field is denoted by x the proportionality constant is denoted by alpha alpha is called as deformability or polarity of the molecules what is the actual meaning of polarity or deformability of the molecule that is equal to ui upon x means upper electrical field per unit so sorry means the position induced position per unit upper electrical field or deformability means the ratio of the induce position to that of upper electrical field now one famous scientist that is maxwell and clausius have shown that the polarity it depends on the dielectric constant of the medium dielectric constant means it is a ratio of capacitor of the cap capacitance when it is filled to that of empty capacitance friends Therefore, this scientific gives the one of the equation which can be calculated the induced polarization and such equation is 4 by 3 pi n alpha equal to d minus 1 upon d plus 2 into m upon d. The n means I got the number, alpha means deformability, d capital D means dielectric constant, small d means density and capital M means molecular weight. But he but also one of the concluded that the directive constant equal to refractive index at the urine such that refractive index cannot be changed and this is denoted by eta infinity therefore d equal to eta square infinity hence the equation for the moral position or induced position becomes 4 by 3 pi n alpha equal to d minus 1 upon d plus 2 into m upon d equal to eta square infinity minus 1 upon eta square infinity plus 2 into m upon d. Now, friends, in the next video, I will focus on the what happens when polar molecule press into the electrical field. Thank you so much and take care.